as at the time I made the announcement, uh, there were quite a large number of students in school, but I discovered that the the figures that were given to me were not correct. And I started receiving reports that the schools are being overflooded by children coming in to enroll, and parents are bringing them in in large number. And the only solution uh, to ensure that uh, my policy or my program is in place is to start by uh, getting to know who and who is, in, is enrolling uh, so that we're able to have the accurate number and then to plan with to know what we can do for all of them. But for now, uh, the only uh, correct number of students that we, we are sure of uh, those that are about to finish schools, those that are registering for WAEG, MECO, and JAM, these are the ones that at least we, we are sure. But the remaining ones, uh, we, we can't account for them. So that's why we have to make sure we uh, have their data before we start any other thing. Did you have an idea of how many students you were roughly declaring a free education policy for? Well, like um, in secondary school, we had over 3,000. In primary school, over uh, 2,000 in the past. So that was the initial time. 2,000 students? 3,000 3, and, 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 and 2,000? Two, yeah. That's roughly, really small. Yeah, roughly. Yeah. That's yeah. really small for the population. Because there were so State. much... Exactly. There are so much students that were out of school. So much students out of school. Were they out of school or were they in private schools? Because some people will say, oh, you know, even now, no, they were, the poor do not want to send their children they were, to government they were no longer. They were no longer going to school because their parents could not afford to send them to school.